Now let's discuss the venous system of the head and neck. Veins of the head and neck can be grouped into external and internal group. Internal group consists of venous sinuses of the dura mater, emissary veins, and diploic veins. Emissary veins are valveless venous channels that connect the venous sinuses of the dura mater to the extracranial venous systems. Diploic veins are intraosseous venous channels present in the cancellous bone of the skull. Let's discuss about venous sinuses of the dura mater in detail. It can be classified into paired and unpaired groups as shown. Unpaired sinuses are superior sagittal, inferior sagittal, straight, occipital, anterior and posterior intercavernous sinuses. The paired sinuses are transverse, sigmoid, cavernous, superior petrocell, inferior petrocell, and sphenoparietal sinuses. The superior sagittal sinus begins at Christagalli, it passes backward, on reaching the internal occipital protuberance, it deviates to the right side and forms confluence of sinuses. And it continues as right transverse sinus. The confluence of sinuses also receives blood from occipital sinus. Inferior sagittal sinus collects blood from medial surface of the cerebrum and falx cerebri, and it empties into the straight sinus. The straight sinus passes backward and downward, and terminates usually into the left transverse sinus. The left transverse sinus is connected to the confluence of sinuses via a communicating vein. One of the tributaries of straight sinus is the great cerebral vein of Galen. It is formed by the union of two internal cerebral veins. The great cerebral vein receives the basal veins of Rosenthal from each side before its termination into the straight sinus. Each transverse sinus continues below as sigmoid sinus. The sigmoid sinus leaves the skull through the posterior compartment of jugular foramen, where it turns down and continues as internal jugular vein. At the commencement of the vein, it is dilated and it is known as superior bulb. The cavernous sinuses are situated on each side of the body of sphenoid bone. Its tributaries are superior ophthalmic vein, sphenoparietal sinus, superficial middle cerebral vein, a few inferior cerebral veins, and sometimes middle meningeal vein. Cavernous sinus communicates with transverse sinus via the superior petrosal sinus. It communicates with internal jugular vein via inferior petrosal sinus. It communicates with pterygoid venous plexus via emissary veins. It communicates with opposite cavernous sinus via anterior and posterior intercavernous sinuses. It communicates with superior sagittal sinus via superficial middle cerebral vein. The superior ophthalmic vein communicates with angular vein. The angular vein is formed by the union of supratrochlear and supraorbital veins. The angular vein continues as facial vein. It runs downward and backward in the face. It communicates with the pterygoid plexus via the deep facial vein. So facial vein communicates with cavernous sinus via two pathways, one via the superior ophthalmic vein and other via the pterygoid venous plexus. The superficial temporal vein joins with the maxillary vein to form retromandibular vein. The retromandibular vein divides into anterior and posterior branches. The anterior branch joins with the facial vein to form common facial vein. The common facial vein drains into the internal jugular vein. The posterior branch of retromandibular vein joins with posterior auricular vein to form the external jugular vein. The external jugular vein runs downward and drain into the subclavian vein. The internal jugular vein joins with subclavian vein to form brachiocephalic vein. Tributaries of internal jugular vein are inferior petrosal sinus, pharyngeal veins, common facial vein, lingual, superior thyroid vein, middle thyroid vein, sometimes occipital vein. The last tributaries are thoracic duct on the left side and right lymphatic duct on the right side. Each duct open at the junction of subclavian and internal jugular vein. The internal jugular vein communicates with external jugular vein via oblique jugular vein. It also communicates with cavernous sinus via inferior petrosal sinus. The tributaries of external jugular vein are posterior external jugular vein, 
transverse cervical vein, suprascapular vein, and anterior jugular vein. Anterior jugular vein communicates with the opposite side via jugular venous arch. It should be noted that, usually the blood from superficial cerebral veins drain into right internal jugular vein, via superior sagittal sinus, right transverse, and sigmoid sinuses. The blood from deep, cerebral veins tend to drain into left internal jugular vein, via great cerebral vein, straight sinus, left transverse, and sigmoid sinuses. This completes the venous system of head and neck.